I only started masturbating at 19 years old, which is actually quite late. Because it was a masturbation that was such the disgusting thing rather than sex itself. When I actually started playing with balloons, it was kind of like awesome, awesome. I'd suddenly stop and go, balloons, what the hell is going on? I burst out laughing like this is weird or like, and that like ruins the arousal. It's like, oh, I have to start again now. When was I first attracted to balloons? This is a really difficult question to answer. I have these memories of sitting on balloons and then I have this memory of my mum saying something like, stop playing with your body or something like that. And it was something like disturbing about the way she said it. And then eventually, like by the time I got to 19, 20 years old, I saw pictures of a guy sitting on inflatables and I found it really arousing and I thought oh I must be into black guys that's the whole thing here and then I'm like saying that and I'm looking at a ping like it was a penguin an inflatable penguin and I thought all right just admit it to yourself and it was a while till I actually dared to like google balloon fetish Alright, so this is my little kit which I used to make my little videos. Like I've got my um, Wednesday dress and then I wear this. This is like the cleavage top, so it shows off the tits. And then the most important part is all my balloons. This is my GL500 that blows up pretty big and it's awesome because you can lie on it and everything. I've got a 16 inch jewel Qualatex. My favorite type of balloon is the jewel or anything translucent or see-through. Why is that? I think it's because I had a really good orgasm on a um, translucent balloon. In the fetish, there's so much variety with what people like and also people do different activities with balloons activities if you know what I mean. What's common is a blow to pop so I'm really scared of these. It's where is as the name suggests you blow up the balloon until it pops. Um, you can sit to pop or you can grind to pop as well. That's where you're like getting more sexual with it. Whereas a sit to pop is just like with your bum bounce on it. Like people have all different types of things they do. Some people just like to hug them and that's it. Like that's the end of the story or just have them around or whatever. When I first started making videos, it was, I wanted to look at myself. It sounds a bit narcissistic, but like I wanted to like play with balloons a certain way and then watch it. And I thought, oh, imagine if I'll put this online. It was more like um, a thrill to <laughs> put it online. Like this is so bad. And then, yeah, it just went from there. Back when I had my YouTube channel, I did get a few thousand hits. I think maximum on a video might be like 20,000 or something. But I got banned after a while. <laughs> um, at the moment, all my um, videos and everything are on Facebook. I've got um, 800 friends or something, I, I can't remember. And I get a whole bunch of different comments for the videos. I've had this one guy just post, like write a comment and said, I would like to fly my sperm in your face. <laughs> I was like, hey, nice to meet you too. <laughs> Yeah, the, the thing with balloons is like it's more arousing where you have to kind of pop the balloon or at least I have to have a feeling of this balloon is going to pop. Like I can't cheat it. And when that happens, then the arousal goes up and there's eventually this stage where the anxiety is completely gone and then it's like popping spree. I 
if I'm in like the ovulating state or that time of the month, um, a few balloon pops and I'll have the orgasm. But um, when I'm PMSing or whatever, I can stay in that stage for like an hour or something and I'll keep going and it's like my hands are shaking from that much arousal and then either I have to go like manually finish myself off otherwise what's happened before is I started to feel sick like I need to vomit I was like okay I think I overdid that a bit Previously to balloons, I don't really have any recollections of being sexually attracted to men or women. Yeah, so I'm still a virgin, but I do wonder what it's like to have a sexual relationship. But the thing is, I don't really have the desire to do it. Do I feel any intimacy with balloons? I don't quite know. I do hug them and squeeze them, but that kind of feels good. It's not like as in, I care about the balloon's feelings. <laughs> like it's, The thing is, like I think it's really in between. Like There are all these other feelings, which I don't even know how to describe exactly what's going on. I don't feel that with other people, that's for sure. So that, that's kind of how I know, like if I didn't have this experience with balloons, then I would probably be going off having sex and then going like, this is like thinking this is the way it's supposed to be. So yeah.